The adventure continues here at X Games Japan. We welcome you now to Women's Skateboard Park Elimination. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside Amelia Brodka. And Amelia, so excited for this one where half of our field is represented by the host country of Japan. Absolutely, we are definitely going to see them put on a show today. And s neither Sky Brown or Sakura Yosozumi are here, which is going to make it for a very interesting contest. Yes, it certainly leaves the door wide open, but there you see some of our headliners, including Kokono Haraki and Mami Tezuka. The top eight will be advancing to tomorrow's final, so a lot at stake here. In our finals format, as you see, 15 skateboarders, two runs each, the best single run counts. And as I said, top eight advancing to the final. We're essentially going to be cutting this field in half, Amelia. We are going to see a lot of new names out here today, and specifically, as you said, from Japan. So this is going to be a really great showcase of talent that we haven't seen at the X Games before. Yeah, an exciting mix, as you said. A lot of X Games rookies, but as well as some mainstays, including there you see number eight on our start list, Lizzie Armanto. It was 10 years ago at X Games Barcelona when she won gold in this event. She is a legend, and it's always such a pr pleasure to see her skate. So very excited to see her in this elimination round and hoping she puts down a solid run. And there you see some of the ladies of Women's Skateboard Street. Many who qualified on to tomorrow's final, getting now to watch on here on the Women's Park event. There's Momiji who loves skateboarding more than anyone else, as we've learned. <laughs> the look at our roster as they get ready to put it down. We're so excited for this one. They're excited too, they're having a blast over there. To kick things off, making her return to the X Games stage, Jordan Barrett. Believe it or not, Amelia, we haven't seen her at X Games in over five years. It was 2018 in Minneapolis, the last time that Jordan skated X. She's already pulling together a solid line here, gapping over the jump into a front side air, using the whole park. And there is that textbook eggplant making it look absolutely beautiful. You can hear her friends cheering her on in the background. This is a wonderful community, the women's skate field. And, you know, they haven't gotten too much time to practice in this course, so the fact that Jordan's still staying on her line here, she's gonna be stoked on this one. Here you see Jordan climbing Mount Fiji. I think she's relieved to have put down, you know, a safety run, but a full pull nonetheless. I know she was feeling really nervous about the limited practice time and seeing the clouds rolling in, but there you've got all her friends supporting her, hugging her, cheering her on. It's a lot of camaraderie out here, that's for sure. As you said, we take another look. This course just completed in really the last 24 hours. It's a testament to our course builders that were able to put this thing together, but that means limited practice time for all of the ladies out here. We have a new face here, Misuo Hasegawa, dropping in, starting on the roof. Beautiful body jar. She's 12 and a half years old, making her the youngest female competitor here at X Games Japan. Wow, that was a fierce tail slide right into a gorgeous backsmith and a crail slide. She said a backsmith is actually one of her favorite tricks. We have that in common, but she makes them look really, really good. Oh, going for that back tail. Great collection of tricks from Mihitsugo here. That was quite the X Games debut. You know, almost a full pull, put in some really solid tricks there. Doing it for H Street. So that'll do it for Mizuzo's first run here in her X Games debut.
Hinanu Kusaki, <laughs> our next skater to drop in, 15 years old, another one of our X Games rookies. She got first place at the 2021 Exposure Best Video Park competition, where she absolutely blew us away with really strong 540s, powerful tricks, great lines. She's a really strong skater. They actually call her the demoness at her local park because she takes some heavy slams. Ooh. And goes down early on this run, Amelia. But yeah, I would love to see. She's got multiple variations of that five. She says the McTwist is her favorite trick. A lot of big stuff in her arsenal. I really hope that we can see it shine in her second run because she's a very, very powerful skater. And you know, she was laughing there a little bit at that last fall. Surprised her as much as it surprised us. But you know, it's her first ever run in X Games and she's got a whole crew hyping her up for the next one. Thirteen years old, another X Games rookie from Australia, Arisa True. She just took first place at the Bullzilla contest on the Gold Coast of Australia. And she got third at Tony Hawk's Vert Alert last year. She's clearly got those vert skills on display, as you see by that judo up there. Beautiful Smith grind. Nice Weddle air. Oh, transferring front side. Back over the box jump. Wow, great Miller flip. Usually, those don't get that high over the coping, but she certainly sent it. That was awesome. <laughs> Hanging on to the front boneless. That was a really solid first run for Marisa. Wow. Marisa, dual citizenship, Australia and Japan. And at 13 years young, puts down the best run of this early contest. Her coach is Trevor Ward, who's an accomplished vert skater. We've seen him at X Games before. Oh, there's another look at that Miller flip. Some may call it a unit. Either way, it's a 540 front side with some hand assistance. So good enough to put True into second. We turn our attention now to the Brazilian, Isadora Pacheco, 18 years old making her X Games debut. Sound like a broken record with all these rookies here tonight. But they're all such solid skaters. It's actually quite surprising they've never made an appearance at X Games before. She's actually skated in the Olympics. She got 10th place. And um, unfortunately, shortly after, she had a knee injury. So that's probably why we didn't see her at Summer X Games. But she's putting together a solid run here. I'm loving the way she's standing up on that front side 5-0 through the deep end. Nice little truck bash on the bank there. Really using the whole course here. Maybe losing a little bit of speed. I'm loving hearing all the cheering going on from all the other competitors in this field. They're all friends and they're all super supportive of each other. She said she's actually fulfilling her dream of competing in the X Games, and you can tell by that big smile on her face. You love to see it. Isadora's mentor, by the way, X Games royalty, Pedro Barros. That is a wonderful mentor to have. So a great opening run for Pacheco. That puts her up into second place. Yurin Fuji from Japan, 17 years old, making her second X Games appearance. Huge backside air from Yurin. She, wow, just does these incredible airs. I love her style, it's very unique. Also a winner of our Exposure Video Park contest. Two years running, actually. Nice lean to tail in the deep end there. Yeah, I would say it was that video part from Exposure Contest in 2020 that really kind of put her on the radar. Yeah, absolutely. Alex White picked her up after that. And she got sponsored by Creature and Crux, and 
it's great to see her showing up at all these events and putting together a full line here. Huge backside air. Blasting on that one. And Yurin takes over first place. Kiana Ogawa. It's her fifth X Games appearance, still in search of that first podium. But she's got to earn her way into the final, first and foremost. Wow, she just went off of the edge on that quarter pipe there and somehow has recovered. Very impressive. She is no stranger to contests, though. She actually just won the Exposure Bowl contest last fall in November. There she is, tail sliding up on the bank. You know, that first little uh, mishap kind of made her lose her speed a bit, but she's, she's hanging in there, trying to go for that Smith lip. I love how all these girls are just laughing the whole time when they made their run or not. They're just loving being out in Japan and getting to skate this beautiful course. Kiana, of course, late last fall, received her first signature pro deck from Hosoi. Yeah, Christian is a huge mentor to Kihana. He saw her talent right away and wanted to support her. Christian Asoy has always been a huge supporter of women's skateboarding, sponsoring a lot of up and coming talent. We move on to the lady in red, Lizzie Armanto, making her seventh X Games appearance, owner of three medals one gold, one silver, one bronze. Oh no, an uncharacteristic early fall from Lizzie. Living legend. You know, honestly, if she just skated around the deck and didn't do anything, it'd still be amazing to watch because her style is absolutely flawless. Well, Amelia, and she's one of those skaters that will never need to be defined by any contest. That's right. She's done so much for skateboarding. I mean, this has been 10 years of her skating in Women's Park, and she's part of the reason, I think, why Women's Park became a discipline. She's She's really paved the way for all of us and set the bar very high, progressing in so many levels. Just came out with a shoe on Vance. The first one since Carabeth Burnside's shoe. So that'll do them back to Zozo Marine Stadium here in Chiba as we welcome you to X Games Japan 2023. We're in the midst of the Women's Skateboard Park elimination. We're halfway through run number one here. And the ladies just trying to put down some full pools here on this course. And you're seeing them trying to get runs in, Amelia, in between runs, because as we've talked about, this course just really finished right before the contest. Not a ton of practice time. Grace Marhofer. You want to talk about double duty. Who is the busiest athlete here at X Games? It may be Grace. She's just a couple hours removed from competing in the women's skateboard street elimination event. She is an all-terrain vehicle. She skates vert very well also. And I love the way that she just gapped up to that front 50. And she skates with so much power and style. Beautiful eggplant. Really getting inverted on that one. Nice front Smith in the deep end. Keeping the line going. Boneless on the bank. Here are all her friends cheering for her in the background. Nice, just stepping off that invert right at time. Grace also an avid surfer, and you can see that in her style of skateboarding. She certainly brings such a surfy style to her skating. And like I said, she can skate absolutely everything, and that really makes her skating unique. She actually plays first in women's bowl at the Mystic Cup last year in Prague. Oh, that's a great shot of that eggplant. Just textbook. 
So 56.66 for Grace, good enough for second here in Women's Skateboard Park eliminations. Minestes out of Petaluma, California, 17 years old, competing in her fifth X Games. Minna's been skating really well on the contest circuit recently, and she just has this wonderful, unique style that is very different than the other competitors and has a very cool bag of tricks that go, goes along with it. Was so young when she got started on this X Games stage. We've watched her grow physically, and we've also watched her grow as far as her skate finishes are concerned. A lot of top five finishes trying to find that first ever X Games podium. She had an early fall there with a the transfer, so she's just playing skateboards on the flat. Gotta love it. Minna is a super funny individual, as you could tell by that display there. And, you know, she's just she's always having a good time on her skateboard, and that always shines through as well. A 41.66 for Minna, good enough to put her in the top eight. So here now, Kisa Nakamura, 22 years old. A gold medal she earned in her X Games debut back in 2016 in Austin. That was one of the first times we saw Kisa. And she just came on the scene and absolutely dominated that contest. Just putting together a good line here. She actually earned the very first ever gold medal for a Japanese skateboarder at X Games certainly inspired a lot of up-and-coming Japanese skaters. No question. Early fall from her, but luckily she's got another run. Yes, if you're just joining us, it's a field of 15 in eliminations. Each of the skaters getting two runs, best single run counts. The top eight will be moving on to the final. Will it include Ruby Lilly? out of Ocean City, Maryland, making her third X Games appearance, just 16 years old. Ruby Lilly is known for her nose grinds, both front side and back side, that she does in an absolute textbook style. Blasting a backside air right out of gapping over that transfer. There's the backside nose grind. Getting up on top of the mountain with that back disaster. Getting in the tail on that bank. Her mom roller skates, and they actually skate parks together. And her brothers skate as well. I so it's, it's certainly a family affair. And she's just a rad human being, very positive. Putting together a great line. I think she's one of the only ones to have done a lip trick up on the mountain. The stoke is real. I know we keep saying it with the ladies in this contest, but amazing to watch just how hyped everyone gets for one another. And Ruby Lily is your new leader. Amazing, just moving up into that top spot. You know, she was feeling pretty nervous before this, not really having the park as dialed in as she would have liked, but she just made it happen there. Kokono Haraki. Three X Games appearances, three X Games podium finishes. Two silvers and a bronze. Could this be the year, Amelia, that she gets to the top spot? I think it's highly likely. She has so much power and so much technical prowess in her skateboarding that I would not be surprised if we saw her walk away with a gold medal. Like that nose grind, with the tail grab, oh, just almost Whoa. sticking on that back tail on the bank, but hanging on. Stalefish disaster. Nice back trail. Oh, only one skating the rail. Fitting it in her line flawlessly. And the front trail to boot. That was an amazing first run from Kakona. The Olympic silver medalist from Tokyo. 
She was first inspired by her mother Monaco's love of skateboarding. And as we watch another replay, Amelia, as you said, without, say, someone like Sky Brown in the mix here, the door's wide open for this field, but Kokono has been right there knocking on it. Could 2023 here in Japan be that gold medal moment for her? Right, because Sakura is not here either, so it's it's highly likely. And there she is moving right up into the top spot by 10 points. A massive score for Kokona. She takes over first place. But she will have to contend with someone like Mami Tezuka, 21 years old, in her fifth X Games appearance, owner of two X Games medals, wow. She almost hung up on that, but she just barely pulled it back in over the coping. And you saw her laughing as she rode away from that. Absolutely death defying. Now doing a crail slide up on the mountain, gapping up to that 50-50. The most gorgeous backsmith. Mommy's very known for her smith grinds and the way that she puts her feet in the middle of them. Well, and it's about the unique lines, right? Where so many of the ladies in this field have a 540. She doesn't put down a 540, but she makes up for it with the creativity and the way she locks into her tricks. Right, you saw her grinding the edge of the mountain there, which no one else is touching. That was a unique approach, and that's certainly appreciated by the judges. This was incredible. She just hit her wheel on the way back in. And a score of 62 for Mommy. Puts her up into fourth place after her first run. And now rounding out our field of 15, the American from Encinitas, California, Bryce Wettstein. She's been serenading everybody with her ukulele all week long, waiting for the park to be finished. She's always putting a smile on everyone's faces and also doing boneless disasters. Nice backside air in the deep end. Nice backside ollie on top of the mountain. Feeble into fakey. Bryce is very proficient in doing tricks to fakey and then riding fakey through a course which is incredibly challenging to navigate. And there she is using a corner we haven't seen used before. Nice body burial disaster. Everything about Bryce just makes people smile. She's such a generous human being and just so fun to be around. And she's even got amazingly technical tricks like that nose blunt there. Not sure if that was after time, but either way, it was a great nose blunt. Bryce just missing out on the podium last year here in Chiba, as well as in Vista a couple of months later. I don't know, I don't even know. 63.33 puts her into fourth place, so. Run one officially in the books for our field here in Women's Skateboard Park Eliminations. But this weekend, it's home to the greatest action sports athletes on the planet. It's gonna be a dance off with Isadora taking the lead on that. Loving it. So Grace Marhofer takes front and center again Double duty with skating in the street elimination earlier today. But right now, Amelia, she's on the outside looking in. You see her name next to nine. The top eight are moving on to the final. I love the way that she tapped her tail on the way in on that front set air off the box jump. And how she just fully inverts those eggplants on top of Mount Fiji. Also a skater slash surfer. And the style certainly shines. Front center disaster. Maybe improvising a bit, but making it look really good. Nice slop fast plant. Right at time. 
think she surprised herself with part of that line, but it was great to see her put it together here. That is a great angle of that eggplant. Love that shot. So Pacheco has that score of 58. That's what she would need to best right now to move up into the top eight to get into that finals group. There you see Pacheco. And no, not enough. I think to she bump lost up into the top eight. Yeah, she lost a little speed in the middle of there. I think that's what really affected her because Isadora kept her speed throughout. So we turn our attention now to Minestas. From Petaluma, California. She's got super supportive parents. Has a skate park, concrete park in her yard. Maybe both of her yards. Nice lip side there. So Minna trying to climb out of 12th place into the top eight. She's been a finals mainstay the last few years. Just coming off on that fast plant. You know, she was she is coached by none other than Willie Santos, legendary skateboarder. And she's just having fun with it now. She knows, you know, didn't quite get the run she wanted. But flat ground kickflip is always a good one to see in the middle of a park contest. She got on the cover of Bigfoot Magazine last November, her first cover. And right before that, she made her debut in Thrasher, so her career certainly taken off. It's not the last we'll see of her. No, certainly not. Not at 17. So here's Kisa Nakamura, 22 years old, boosting here in her fifth X Games appearance, but needs something big to get to that finals group. Nice backsmith putting together a solid line. You know, I liked her nose bone from earlier in the run. Just a lot of style. Miller flip, also known as her favorite trick. Getting a little fakie ollie in there. Going for the kickflip rock fakie hanging on. <laughs> Maybe not the fastest park line, but she is making it work for her. Going for that little Bertelman situation at the end. Just having fun with it. Once again, she was the first X Games gold medalist in women's park and the first Japanese skater in the women's park discipline. Definitely paving the way for the girls out in Japan. Yeah, it was incredible to see her do that in her X Games debut back in Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, 2016. I think it's safe to say Ruby will be advancing to the finals tomorrow, but let's see what kind of upgrades she has for her run here today. Oh, wow. there it is. Wow, Ruby just flying out of this park course, but as you said, Clearly cemented in that second spot. That's right. This is just practice for tomorrow at this point. Blasting that backside air. She's been filming a video part recently, and she's been hard at work on that. So I think we should all look forward to when that drops. Nice back disaster on top of Mount Fiji. Frontside grind to tail. She won the Exposure Vert contest last fall. So she's an excellent vert skater as well. So that will do it for Ruby Lily's day. But she's got her sights set a potentially a first ever X Games medal in the finals tomorrow.
great showing from Ruby today. Certainly excited to see what she brings to the table. Kokono Haraki, not just our current leader, but someone who through one and a half runs has clearly been head and shoulders above the pack. Does that change here on a run of no consequence? This one's just really a tune-up for tomorrow. I think they just wanted to treat us with a Gregson follow line. <laughs> Very kind of them, because that is gorgeous to see. Loving we, that we all grind tail grab. And Kokoda uncharacteristically going down. Save yourself, girl. No, got she, a big one she tomorrow. wants more. And here we go. All right. Nice back rail. Oh, oh. For the rail again. I love that she sent it, but totally didn't even have to. And there's nowhere else for the 14 year old to go but first. The top spot is where she'll stay. So Mami Tezuka is dropping in from the roof. Yes, hanging on. What a great way to start. Nice invert. Getting to see the Gregson follow on gapping up to that front 5 0. Frail slide on the mountain. Gap up to front 50. Oh, it's looking like a really solid line from Mommy there. You know what I like about this, Amelia, is, is Mommy is going to qualify for this final in seventh, right? So barely in the top eight. But we know what she's capable of doing. So without really showing all of her bag of tricks, she's, she's more or less squeaking into the finals, but certainly has to be considered, despite that, a potential favorite to win. Right, she's no stranger to this podium, and she often surprises us with just gaps that no one else is doing and always brings unique lines to the table. So it'll be very interesting to see how she changes her approach going into the finals. And now our final run of the night here in Women's Skateboard Park Eliminations. Bryce Wettstein, she's in sixth place. She's moving on to tomorrow's final. One of the friendliest people to ever grace a skateboard. Kicking her foot off on that judo air. Boneless to tail on the bank. Going for the body burial disaster on top of the mountain. Feeble faking. Better run than last time so far. Allie, you've been into that axle stall. And there's the nose blunt getting it into the line this time. Another boneless. Solid run from Bryce. Definitely an upgrade on her last one. But she's moving on to tomorrow. So we're super excited to see more Bryce smiles for sure. Nice nose blunt. So with that run, Bryce moves up okay. one spot into fifth. But at this point, it's all about seeding for the finals. And there you see our top ranked qualifier, Kokono Haraki, left no doubt from her first run. And the rest of the field just could not catch that score. But our top eight is set. And Amelia, Isadora Pacheco, seemingly clinging to that eighth spot, all of run number two will be moving on to the final. What a story. Her dream just keeps getting better and better, <laughs> making it to her first X Games final in her first X Games appearance. Well, what a performance from this entire field out here at X Games Japan. 
15 of the world's best in women's skateboard park invading. Only eight moving on to the final headline by Kokono Haraki. So much fun. Looking forward to that final here from X Games Japan.